older you. Okay. Hello everyone, my name is Kelly. I am 10 years old. Okay. So you're 10 years old. Can you tell me about your family? Um, I have... I... I am... I have one brother, and um, my dad is working in Germany. That's cool. I also live with my grandparents, too. Okay. So your dad is working in Germany? Yes. And you live with your grandparents? And my mom. Well, that's very cool. Okay. Um, can you tell me, what is your favorite color? My favorite color, I'm going to say purple. Purple. That's my favorite color, too. We're a lot alike. Okay. And what do you like to do? I like to um, read books. Me, too. And sometimes write it. Let's see. Some things that we are going to talk about. Um, so we're going to start by talking about sentences. And um, I'm sure you know there are complete sentences, there are sentence fragments, and there are run-on sentences. So I am going to tell you a sentence. And I want you mm -hmm. to tell me if it is a complete sentence, a sentence fragment, or a run-on sentence. Do you understand? Can you say a sentence what is a run run sentence? A run-on sentence? Yes. Um, that's a sentence that where kind of like they forgot to put a period, um, and so the sentence just keeps going and going going kind of like uh my name is kelly i'm married i have three kids see that was more than one sentence but a run-on sentence would be where i didn't put any periods in it does that make sense yes yeah okay all right so i'm going to bring up a whiteboard um and put those three types just so that you don't forget
um, complete sentence? That one's a fragment. Put means that it needs um, a subject. So if it was put without an that would make it an imperative sentence telling you to do something. Um, but because it has that S on there, it needs a subject. So the sentence was, put the toys back in the toy box. But we don't know who puts the toys back in the toy box. Okay? Um, she won't get lost. I'll, I will give her a map. A runner sentence. Very good. Uh, the next football game. A sentence fragment. Very good. Uh, Jason bought a red tie and a blue vest. Complete sentence. Very good. Went to the zoo to see the tigers and lions. Yes, I again. Went to the zoo to see the tigers and lions. Went. Um, sentence fragment? Very good. That one didn't have a subject. We don't know who went to the zoo. Did I go to the zoo? We don't know. <coughs> All right. Very good. Now, let's see. Okay. Um, I was writing something. I was trying to get a game ready for you, but I didn't have time. All right, so now let's talk a little bit about writing. Okay, so um, do you enjoy writing? A lot. A lot? Great. Um, do you just write like little bits, like one paragraph, or do you write like several paragraphs? I write like um, a whole book. Wow, that is a lot. You must be very good at writing. Okay, so when we do writing and we have a paragraph, the paragraph has different parts. Can you tell me the parts of a paragraph? Um, paragraph, paragraph. First, I don't understand like a paragraph. Okay, um, so when you're writing a paragraph, the first sentence is called the introduction. The introduction sentence. You're telling them what you're going to tell them about. Okay, and then you have the body of the paragraph. That's where you tell them the details. And then at the end, you have the conclusion where you sum it all up. That's kind of like the end. Okay. Um, so you said that you write a lot. So if you write a lot, then your paragraphs may not have all of those things. Um, if you write a lot, then your paragraphs, you might have a whole paragraph that is the introduction, the beginning. And then you might have several paragraphs that are the body telling you about the different things. And then at the end, you would have maybe a whole paragraph that was a conclusion. Okay, so can you tell me some things <coughs> that you like to write about? I like to write about uh, what I get in my ideas of my books. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, so you like, so you write stories? Yes. Yeah. So, when you write, um, do you remember the important things about sentences? The yes. start them with a capital letter and end them with a punctuation and stuff like that? Yes. And do you know the different types of sentences? Yes. Like declarative and stuff 
stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Now I was looking through some of the stuff um, that you would have learned in school. Um, do you know what a preposition is? Prepositions is. I learned that, but I forgot. Yeah, that's okay. We all forget sometimes. Okay, so a preposition is a word or a group of words um, that shows the relationship between nouns. Between nouns. So, like, the cup is in my hands. In would be the preposition. Um, let's see. The pen is on my head. On would be the preposition. Okay, so I would like to tell you some, uh, some sentences, and then I would like for you to tell me the preposition. The thing that describes the relationship between two males. All right. Okay. Um, let's see. The boy was at the park. At. At. Very good. The chair is by the bed. Very good. All right. Now. Okay, so now we're going to move on to writing a little bit. And um, when we write, it's usually good to plan about what we're writing about. Okay, so let's plan a story. Okay, so we'll write a story together. Um, so first we should probably plan the characters in our story. Do you have a character that you would like to use? Yes. I'm thinking of a load. It okay. is a fairy. A fairy. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for our character, we'll have a fairy. All right. Um, now, stories usually have a conflict, a problem. So what should our fairy conflict 
um, the fairy, um, uh, her parents is missing. Oh no! Okay, and then stories also have a setting. That's where and when they happen. So what should the setting of our story be? Can I change the conflicts to the parents are kidnapped? Oh no, okay, yeah, we can change that. The setting is our car our fairy is just um going home from school and then she um, saw the house all turning all uh, the furniture is upside down and her parents okay. is missing. Okay. Okay, so the setting where it takes place would be walking home from school. And the fairy house. That's good. All right. Um, would you like to type or would you like for me to type? Um, for you to type. I'm just a little okay. lazy. All right. You can come up with the story and... I will type it. Okay, so we should probably start with an introduction to introduce the character and the setting and stuff like that. Okay. A fairy can be named Kelly. Ah! Now, is it going to be spelled like your name or like my name? Your because name. your name is K-E-L-L-Y and my name is K-E-L-L-I. Your name. Okay. <laughs> All right. Go. Uh, introductions. Our our friend's fairy Kelly is walking home from school. Just a normal day from school. <coughs> Excuse me. Walking home from school just like every normal day. Then she knock. Then then she knock on the door, but nobody answers. Answers. Then um she um opened the door and it's not locked. She um when she you're going too fast. Take on. I can't talk that fast. She knock on the door, but nobody's answer. Answer. And that she tried to open it, and surprisingly, it's not locked. Okay. Okay. Um, what she what she saw inside the house made her very upset. She saw the all the furnitures are are turned upside down, and and um, and then she saw saw wait then she she saw a letter on the on the table. It's red. A letter on the table. It's red. Ke Kelly, will you? We have been kidnapped. Please send some police officer to save us. Wait. Uh, no police officer, please. Uh, please save us. That's all. Um. Then she then she heard the phone ring. Wait, K 
Can you change the then to all of a sudden? Yes. Great choice. She nervously um, picked up the phone and answered it. Then um, she she heard a voice sound like her mother. Her, her mother said said quietly, um, Kelly, Kelly, uh, we've been kidnapped. Um, at um, what a dress. Hmm. Um. Can you um please help me think of a uh, address? Absolutely. Um, let's see. Hmm. What about one, two, three, Fairy Lane? That's great. Please go to one two three Ferry Lane, and and call some officer, police officer, to be safe. To be safe. Hmm. I love the way that you're adding adjectives and adverbs to describe things so that it's not just boring. You said she nervously picked up the phone. That's very descriptive. I love that. Thank you. Okay, so let's go through here and maybe separate this into a couple paragraphs. Okay. See, our friend, the fairy Kelly, is walking home from school just like a normal day. She knocked on the door and no one answered. She tried to open the door and surprisingly, it's not locked. What she saw inside made her very upset. Maybe make a new paragraph there. She saw all of the furniture turned up. <coughs> then she saw a letter on the table. Okay. was in danger so so she fly to the police station very good she um she she um like what do you say is this she says, or she um, said uh, all the things to the police officer. Okay, so we can maybe say she informed the police officer of the situation. <coughs> That's great. And to inform means to tell someone about it. She informed the police officer about the um her parents' situations. They um they quickly put it to action. See, maybe they quickly jumped into action to kind of show that they, you know, got right to it. 
in just a minute, in just a, in just a few minutes, the the police officers are are arriving at one two three Ferry Lane. They knock. They knock. Knock. They knock rapidly on the door. Very good. And can in this, I can make it up a twist. Absolutely. Um. Door. But nobody answers, so they. So they, um, they, um, push the door open, or kick the door open. Mm. So they kick the door open, right? And this is the twist. Inside, inside, everyone shouted, Happy Birthday, Kelly! And Kelly was like a shock. Kelly was so shocked she didn't see it. What about what if we use the word astounded? Do you know that word? Astounded means very shocked. Yes. Kelly was astounded. And there may be another twist. Well, we need to finish it up. Our time's about up together. Oh, okay. Okay, so Kelly was astounded. Astounded at first, and <clears throat> then she was excited. She forgot all about her birthday. And then she forgot all about oh, no. her birthday. Her birthday. Um. Then she looked beside her. The police officer is also celebrating. It's all according to uh, her parents' plans. This. Um, Kelly, parents played, and at the end, Kelly was happily eating the birthday cake. That's the end. I think we did great. We did. We did a. You did a great job. I love the way that you write. You're so descriptive. You do a great job. Thank you. All right. So hopefully I will get to see you again. I really enjoyed talking with you today. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. Thank you for teaching me. Thank you for being such a great student. You're such a... Hey, hey, dog.